Hey guys, today is, it's Tuesday <laughs> and it's currently like 4 o'clock. Also, I freaking love my background for some reason. I don't know, found it on Tumblr. Great times. Um, I just woke up, <laughs> if you can't tell. I didn't vlog yesterday just because I don't even know what I did yesterday. So here's the thing, I woke up at like almost 9 and then I went to the gym. I was there for a little bit over an hour, great times. And then we got home and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna take like a 30 minute simple nap, power nap. And then I woke up after my 30 minutes and I just turned off my alarm, went back to sleep and it's now 4 o'clock. I have so much stuff I need to do today and I just slept for like more than half of the day. That's literally what I did. <laughs> I mean, at least I went to the gym, so like that's something. I just like slept. I don't know. Okay, so one of my biggest problems in life is insomnia and just sleep in general. Because I love sleep. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I love that show. Go watch Publicity. I'll link the playlist down below. It's like one of the funniest things ever. I'll link my favorite episode. I got wings. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I love sleep, but I just can't fall asleep ever. It takes me like hours. Like when I was a little baby, I didn't sleep like normal kids do. Like my mom was so over me. <laughs> at that point already <laughs> sorry mom <laughs> i guess i should talk about my two favorite books because you guys always ask me on you now so i thought i would do that right now so the first one is did i ever wake up by Motson? i'll link that down below because i'm pretty sure you can only get it on his website this is really expensive i think it's like 20 bucks or something i don't know my friend got it for me for my birthday and it's a pretty short read you can read this in like three hours or less or more depends <laughs> it has like 80 pages not a lot at all um so yeah this is like a self-help book but it's also kind of about his life and now that i've researched so many spiritual things um and i read the second book that i'm gonna show you i don't really like this that much anymore like uh, but I, i'm still showing it to you guys because when i read it i freaking loved it and it helped me so much um but this one is just like about positivity positive thinking the law of attraction and it basically tells you to like you know just focus on the positive and i don't agree with that i mean obviously yes but you also have to deal with your problems and feel pain and feel sad if you have to do that and in this book he kind of doesn't support that mentality that much he just he's just like I keep all the crap in one drawer, I close it, and then um, my drawer with positivity is always open. Um, and I don't really agree with that. Uh, again, it really helped me when I read it. I loved it. I read it like three times. So if you have, if you're like a very negative person, if you want to be more positive, definitely read that. But that's not really my problem in life. Like I'm, like considering what I've been through, I'm a very positive person. But like I need books that are gonna help me deal with all of the shit that I went through and that one just didn't do that for me. It just like taught me what I already knew sort of thing. But again, I don't know, it could really help you. A lot of people love this book and I did as well before I read this and researched this freaking amazing woman. So if can you fucking stop? Oh my god. Uh, so this woman is amazing <laughs> oh thank you lord my sisters just got home okay wait i need to i miss them so much okay bye. okay i'm back my sisters just got home from a vacation so haven't seen them in a while got really excited love them they're also gonna be on vlogs i think they love it <laughs> um okay so this woman is 
oh my god i can't even explain how much love i have for her she has a youtube channel as well um she's like a spiritual teacher she's so good i'll link her channel you have to watch her videos um so this book is called shadows before dawn finding the light of self-love through your darkest times and i'll also try to find it and link it down below um it's so good so first part of the book which is like almost 70 pages is about her story which is really tragic really sad scary really interesting um and then the second part of the book is basically how she got through that and it's like a self-help book so there's tips and it's so good and there's like exercises that you can do so basically what i did because i'm an idiot is I read throughout the whole entire book and I didn't do any of the exercises because I was like, okay, I'm gonna come back to them when I'm done reading the book, which is kind of dumb. So now I'm gonna read the whole entire book again and do the exercises as I go. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing that today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow because I don't have that much time to think because I slept for five hours. Uh, another one that I remember I loved but I read it in like middle school, in like ninth grade or something. But it was as as far as I remember, it was amazing. I have to reread it just so I see if I like still like it that much. But it's again a really tragic story. I don't know if it's based off of a true story. I don't know. I have the title and everything here because I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but it's basically about AIDS um, and about this girl that struggles with just AIDS in her country in her family all that it's so tragic like you can read it in like a few hours because like you can't put it down because it's so good so those are my favorite books um i freaking love all of these so much so again if i could recommend one i would definitely say you read this one because it helped me the most and i'm rereading it so we can do it like together or something i don't know so good like honestly i recommended this to everyone because i feel like everyone can benefit from this so so good okay i'm done raving about this book and teal she's amazing watch her youtube channel i'll link a few of my favorite videos i guess okay um i'll go now i don't know when i'll vlog i don't know if this is the last clip we shall see okay i'm done <laughs> Charlie, bro. A poznáš vlastně tě. Co? A ty poznáš? Ne. Můj Ještě mám to kráda. Jako začnou mám trochu nevědět kašmět. 